Hey guys, um, Nate here with another video for my Nate the K channel. Um, so, um, they said rock and roll, um, kind of put it in my ear that I should do kind of a paranormal vlog, um, about what's happened in my house, um, my family's house. Um, I think I'll take that challenge. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a little tough because there's been a lot of experiences that quite a few of us have had in this house. Um, and overall, paranormal wise, I've had a lot of experiences in my life only because it's like drawn to me in a way. Like I usually every so often I have an experience um, and I don't necessarily look for it. But it's been in my life, all my life, since I can remember, so. Anyway, so I'm making this video as quickly as possible because today I took Danu to get fixed and it basically messed up all of my plans. I couldn't go to class, I couldn't go to my diversity group meeting today at the university because the veterinary office took so long to get Danu finished and, and you know, woken up and everything else. Which, she's fine. She's recovering well. She's actually being a pain in my butt right now because I was thinking, oh, I'll give her her pain meds and she'll be able to go to sleep. No, after she started hurting and I gave her her medications, what she do? She goes and she tries to swallow twine and she tries to climb on everything, which she's not allowed to do because she'll rip her stitches. It's just, it's freaking me out. I'm like, girl, you need to calm down before you hurt yourself. Yeah. Anyway. So, it was the year, I'd say it was 2004, because it was the year I was starting to find, it was also the same year that I started finding witchcraft and paganism and all that. So, it's basically an old farmhouse. We've got a, a, a decent sized house that needs a lot of, it needed a lot of work when we moved in. Um, but it was still pretty, like I said, it was, it was surreal that we were going to live in a house. Um, so we moved in and even the first night we were here to kind of get used to our surroundings or whatever, it was a little weird. Like I felt like there was something different. Um, it's an old farmhouse. It's one of the oldest houses on the block, actually. Um, and still has, you know, original doors and floorboards um, and all that. Um, and we moved in officially Christmas Eve. So you've got, the whole reason why we got the house was because of a death in the family, which is a bad thing, in my opinion. I, if I would have known what I know now about psychology and all that, uh, I would have told my mom, I would have said, uh, no, we really shouldn't be making any huge changes right now. Moved in officially. First night we actually stayed here was Christmas Eve. So there's all that. Oh, and then add on top of that, that this was also the first, the year that I started getting into witchcraft, um, paganism, studying it, which I was really young, but still. Um, so, I guess, I've always kind of known that something was here, or suspected. But, um, the first really big thing that ever happened to us, paranormal-wise, um, my parents are, are EMTs, so they would often work, and still often do, work 24-hour shifts. So I would have to wake up myself, I would have to wake myself up early in the mornings and wake my little sister up, you know, to go to school. Well, one morning, and it was, you know, it was spring, I believe, um, it wasn't storming or raining or anything like that. It was a good mild day. I wake my sister up. I wake up. I wake my sister up. 
and we're getting ready and for school and I would usually stay in my room to get ready um, and I remember I had just finished getting ready and I was walking downstairs and there were footsteps following me not just footsteps not only could I hear the footsteps on at the time the stairs still had carpet on them but it sounded like the footsteps were on wood but I could also hear the like pants brushing pant legs brushing against each other clearly behind me nowhere you know whatever Autumn and I were the only my sister and I were the only two in the house so I just kinda like walk kept walking down the stairs and get into the kitchen and I kinda turn around and I can still hear footsteps on the stairs then I hear the footsteps step onto the tile so now I'm like freaking out because whoa someone is behind me someone's here you know someone's following me and I'm kinda of freaking out because I was pretty sure that my sister was in the living room at the time so I turn a corner so I walk out of the kitchen into this is all within you know let's I'm making a U shape to, in um, towards my right to turn so I've walked into the kitchen now I'm walking out of the kitchen into a hallway that leads to the living room of which my sister was sitting on the couch tying her shoes so when I see that my sister is on the couch in the living room I turn around and I still hear footsteps very prominently now coming from the kitchen. I'm freaking out and I literally was like getting ready to fight or flight. Waiting for someone to walk around that corner out of the kitchen. I'm waiting for someone to appear. Then they just stop. Like as soon as they would have right to the point where if they would have walked out of the kitchen and I would have seen them is when the footsteps stopped. So my little sister's like, what's wrong? You know, what's wrong? And I tell her and she's like, well, that's weird, you know. And then the lights flicker, which is weird. But, um, so yeah, I'd say that that was probably one of the first really creepy, big events. Um, aside from that, uh, we've seen silhouettes in the doorways. I've heard a baby crying once, and it actually, I felt like this wave of sadness, and I started crying. I actually had to call a friend of mine, because I was in the, in the house alone that time. So I had to call a friend and, like, you know, talk to him and tell him what was going on. Voices. I hear a lot of whispering. We hear a lot of whispering in the house sometimes. Um... Usually, when it's whispers, it's, it sounds like a conversation between a man and a woman. It's usually from the same room, like coming from the same room. Recently, within the last two years, um, my sister has seen a... W once saw a figure of a woman in a dress carrying a large pot. And she said that the woman carried it from the kitchen from the kitchen to a closet like storage area that we have which I've never liked I never liked that room and um, I've always kinda thought well it may not be ghosts but it may just be the technology in that room because that's where all of our um, that's where our uh, what do you call it our fuse box and our uh, furnace and everything is but, um, so my sister has seen a figure. The only figure that I've ever seen, um, here, um, was the silhouette in the window, which was really weird because there was a bed right under that particular window. So it's like if there was a silhouette there, they would have had to be standing through the bed. Um, and it was a bunk bed, so it's not like, you know what I mean? But, um... And the silhouette, like, we looked up, we were all outside at the time, and it was nighttime. A few friends and us, and the silhouette just kind of 
like walked off. Um, other than that, the only thing I've ever seen here was one night I was sleeping and I was having a really good sleep and a few people have told me it was just because I was tired, but um, I was sleeping on my stomach and I had my arm, you know, kind of dangling over the edge of the bed. And I remember I was like in that state where I was sleeping, but I wasn't fully asleep. And something in my head told me, open your eyes, look, open your eyes. So I opened my eyes and there is this, it's, it was clearly a female face, like right in my face, like just right there staring at me. And it was kind of, it wasn't super see-through, and it wasn't really white. It was more like a misty type deal, um, but it was clearly there. And I just kind of went, oh, and like backed up real fast because it startled me, you know. And it just went, shoo, like it didn't, it, she didn't even look away from me. It just, shoo. Um... So that definitely freaked me out, but I just kind of, I'm surprised, I was surprised at myself because I was so tired that I was just like, you know, I got up and I turned the light on and looked around, nothing was in here, um, and I just turned the light off, sat back, laid back down, and I said, you know, sorry if I startled you, but you startled me, um, I'm going back to bed now, you know, please allow me to have my own time to sleep. I didn't have any other issues that night, haven't had any other issues sleeping, um, spirit-wise, really. Well, there was one other time, but I don't think that was our spirits, but, anyway, so there was that. Um, the most recent activity we've had, the most recent has been really weird. Um, we have two cats and we have two dogs. While everybody's downstairs, we'll hear what sounds, the best way I can describe it is, we have bookshelves and tables galore, my sister and I do upstairs. And when everybody's downstairs and when all of the animals are in the living room with us, the best way to describe the sound we'll hear is like if a cat jumps on a on a shelf or a table and just knocks the whole thing over like a cluttering noise so we'll be like okay the animals are down here so what could have done that so we'll go upstairs and nothing's knocked over nothing everything's in the right place nothing's broken so we're like confused about that and, um, and it always comes from upstairs. Um, so that's really weird. That's really So weird. yeah, that's basically the whole spirit, our house, everything about our household spirits. To my knowledge, um, my grandmother had told me that she had a friend who, who lived here. And, um, their father had a heart attack on the farmland. Does that have anything to do with it? I don't know. Um, to my knowledge, there's n not been any neg super negative history, but like I said, this is an old farmhouse. We live out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so it's hard to say. But there you go, they said rock and roll. There you go, girl. There's my household stories. I have a lot more. Um, I tried to make it as short as possible and squeeze it in. I'm sure after I stop making this video and walk away, I'll think of something else and I'll be like, darn, I should have, should have added that. So, but yeah, so, uh, if you guys like my ghost story, um, let me know <laughs> and, uh, like and subscribe and, um, Maybe I'll make more paranormal blog videos.